Okay, friends, so we're back for another chapter of Wayside School Gets a Little Stranger. Of course, this is written by Lewis Sacker. Today, we are going to read chapter 16, which is Mr. Booth. There's the picture. Here we go. Chapter 16, Mr. Poop. Joy, Mauricia, and Jenny were playing jump rope, jump rope out on the playground. School hadn't started yet for the day. Mauricia and Jenny were twirling. Joy sang as she jumped. My mama wore pajamas to the grocery store. She smashed a bunch of eggs on the grocery floor. One dozen, two dozen, four dozen, six. She dumped a bunch of jelly jars into the mix. Grape jelly apricot, don't forget cherry, orange marmalade, and wild strawberry. A man walked by and fell in the glop. He slid next door to the barber shop. His icky sticky body got covered in hair. He tore a hole in his under. Joy tripped over the rope. It wasn't her fault. Mauricia had suddenly stopped twirling. Hey, said Joy, what's the big deal? Look, said Mauricia. A very handsome stranger was walking toward them. The girls stared at him. Good morning, Mauricia, said the stranger. Jenny, Joy. How do you know my name? Mauricia asked nervously. She wasn't supposed to stop, talk to strangers. I've known you a long time, said the stranger. I see you almost every day. Mauricia was beginning to feel scared. She looked around for Louis, the yard teacher, but didn't see him. I can scream real loud. She warned the stranger. Oh my gosh, said Jenny. It's Lewis. Mauricia looked at the stranger. He did sort of look like Lewis, except his hair was combed. His shirt was tucked in. He was wearing a tie and there was skin between his nose and a mouth instead of a mustache. He had shaved off his mustache. That's Mr. Lewis to you, said Lewis. I'm a teacher and I expect to be treated with respect. You want to play jump rope, uh, Mr. Lewis? Asked Mauricia. Lewis was great at jump rope. He could even do it blindfolded. He was the one who taught Joy the song she was singing at the beginning of this story. No, thank you, Mauricia, said Lewis. I don't play games. I'm an adult. But you are your teacher, said Jenny. No, I'm a professional playground supervisor. Lewis corrected her, and he walked away. Wow, whispered Mauricia. I never knew Lewis was so handsome. Jenny patted her heart. I think I'm in love, she said. I thought he looked kind of goofy, said Joy. Up in class, everyone was talking about the new Lewis in Mrs. Jewel's class. He looks so weird without his mustache, said Calvin. He's handsome, said Bebe. He got mad at me for running across the blacktop, complained John. He made me go all the way back to the edge of the blacktop and then walk across it. And I had to call him Mr. Lewis. I am very proud of Lewis, said Mrs. Drizil. He has always been a troublemaker, but I think he's trying to be good now. We should all give him a chance. Joy stared at Mrs. Drizil. It's your fault, she thought. You made him shave off his mustache. At recess, Lewis refused to pass out the balls. I haven't washed them yet, he said. You're going to wash the balls? Asked Eric Bacon. They're filthy, said Lewis, and they have all the wrong amount of air in them. I don't care said Eric Fry. I do, said Lewis. Before I can let you play with them, I have to clean them and pump them up with the precise amount of air as specified by poops. Poops? P-O-O-P-S? asked Eric Ovens. The Professional Organization of Playground Supervisors, explained Lewis. He showed them the P-O-O-P-S 
handbook. Well, what are we supposed to do without balls? asked Air Fry. Just play and have fun, said Lewis. But remember, stay off the grass. No running on the blacktop, no eating, and no excessive shouting. The three Eric's walked away. What a bugger brain, muttered Eric Bacon. Lewis heard him. That's Mr. Booger Brain to you, young man, he said. The next day, when the kids tried to go outside for recess, they only made it down to the fourth floor. The stairs were completely jammed with other kids from lower classrooms. Hey, what's going on? shouted Joy. Lewis won't let anyone outside, somebody shouted back. He's painting the blacktop. But I have to go to the bathroom, yelled Stephen. Now he's gone too far, said Joy. Excuse me, out of my way, sorry, coming through, she said as she squeezed in and out of the kids, crawled through legs, climbed over heads, until she made her way to the door at the bottom of the stairs. Lewis was slapping bl black paint across the blacktop. Joy could see him through the glass door. Next to him was a big bucket of paint. Mr. Lewis! She shouted so loud that even the kids back up on the fourth floor had to put their hands over their ears. He came to the door. What are you doing? Joy demanded. The blacktop isn't black, explained Lewis. It's gray. A blacktop is supposed to be black. It's right here on page 43 of the Poops Handbook. He opened the book and showed page 43 to Joy. Joy grabbed the book and threw it out across the, the gray top. It landed, plop, in the bucket of black paint. All the kids behind her cheered, Yay! You're the one who's the poop, said Joy. Lewis's red face turned even redder. The place where his mustache used to be turned purple. That's Mr. Poop to you, he said. The end. That was a very strange chapter because... Lewis has turned into an adult who wants to do all things adult, and we don't like it. So we'll see if Lewis goes back to his normal self later in the book. Tomorrow we will read chapter 17. Here's the picture. Mrs. Drizzle is going to be up to more pesky tricks, so we'll have to see what happens next. See you soon. <laughs>